Hello everyone, this is Michaela. This is actually my first video or first time ever making a video about um, oracle cards, an oracle card reading. So let's see what happens here. <laughs> um, this is going to be for each zodiac sign. I'm going to go through the zodiac signs and this will just be basically the overall message for the rest of April. And if I like the way this video comes out, maybe I'll do one for um, May as well. So, uh, first off, we're doing we're using the Energy Oracle cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. I just got these from Phoenix and Dragon. Um, I had them for like a year or two, maybe. I think about two years now. Uh, yeah. So, let's get started. Um, oracle cards will basically just tell you the overall energy or message regarding the situation and uh, yeah let's see what happens so as always I think we should start with Aries and the way I did this one was I basically just shuffled the cards and I asked okay so what is the general message for Aries for the month of April and I just like shuffled it and for Aries people they only got one card some of them well some of the signs will have more than one card but Aries people only have one for this at least this particular shuffle so ooh, okay Aries I see you let's see here card is basically telling you that you have a better viewpoint in, in love than you used to in the past. Like currently you're in a place of peace, you're in a place of, of really owning who you are. Maybe it's because we're in, the, like, we're in the middle of Aries season right now or towards the end actually of Aries season but like you're in your element right now and you're glowing. You're, you're attracting you're attracting not only just love, but I feel like you're attracting good opportunities as well. Beneficial opportunities. Alright, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Um, for some of you, this could actually mean that you have somebody that's coming in towards you. Um, maybe you were manifesting someone. Maybe you, were, you got out of something recently that wasn't benefiting you. And you are really digging deep into yourself and finding out the or taking the time to understand the insides of you that the inside of you that wanted more than what you were given and maybe this person is coming to offer you what you want so I would be on the lookout for that this seems I don't know this is this this seems really positive it's Aries Alrighty. So now we have Taurus. So Taurus had three cards. Let's see what they are. Okay. So Taurus, I'm feeling a different energy from you. Unlike Aries, where they're coming into who they are and uh, what they deserve, you're feeling a loss, a great loss of, of who you are. You, you are unsure of where you want to go, which is why this journey card is also in reverse. You're unsure of where you need to go, where you, where your life is headed. And here, you're, this card is telling you that you have the power, but you don't recognize it. You have the power in the situation to figure out where you need to go. And here, it's saying that whatever situation that you're dealing with, you need to consider walking away from it. And you need to consider walking away from it 
because this situation is causing you to real is causing you to question your power. It's causing you to question who you are and who where you came from. Where the 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 if you believe the celestial power, celestial being um, that you came from, and that's not good <laughs> because when you lose sense of who you are, when you lose sense of your power, you're lost. You're lost. So a big part of April, the rest of this April month, a big part is you figuring out where does your power come from? And why don't you have it right now? Why don't you feel powerful right now? What do you need to do to harness that power and use it to the best of your ability? And it may involve you walking away from the situation. But when you, when you walk away from the situation, that's not necessarily a negative thing. Most of the times it's not. It's like... You, you need to walk away because whatever you're in doesn't serve you anymore. And a lot of times it holds you back. It's keeping you from knowing where you need to go in life. You may seem weak or you may seem that the efforts you're taking don't have an effect. But that's not the truth at all. It's not the truth. You have to take this time to really figure out what you what you want, what you want out of life, and how you plan to get it. The first step is walking away from whatever whatever situation is drawing away your power. cards for Gemini's. Indecision. Contract in reverse. So these two cards are basically, well, I feel like it's self-explanatory in this situation anyway, that you're deciding or you're <laughs> you don't know what to decide between maybe a legal matter are you having a legal issue it could be also could, could be um something regarding work Anything you have to sign. Hmm. It could also be Do you trust yourself? Do you trust yourself to make the right choice? What what inside of you is is there something inside of you telling you that you can't trust what what your gut is telling you? And if something is inside of you telling you that you can't trust it, why? That's something you need to do some deep searching for yourself, inside yourself. Like, figure out what it is that you're telling yourself that is keeping you from making a decision. I can't pronounce words today. <laughs> what inside of you is what inside of you is keeping you from making a choice? And to be quite honest, 
the longer you take to make a decision, I mean, you not making a decision is, is a decision. It is a choice. So you technically are. But in this situation, I don't think delaying will be beneficial for you. So in order to come through, in order to come through this period of indecision of, of not knowing what you want, take time and meditate on the options that you have. Like maybe, maybe your job is telling you, hey, it's trying to give you a raise, but you also have like another option, another job that's giving you, like it's giving you an offer. Maybe you need to meditate on those two things and figure out what is your soul telling you to do? What is the thing that will lead you further into your purpose that you're supposed to be accomplishing or achieving or walking into? <laughs> Take the time and look into yourself because I feel like you do know. You do know, but you don't, I think, are you, I feel like you're afraid to make a choice. Do the things that scare you, man, <laughs> or woman or whoever, like, do the thing that scares you. Do the thing you do the choose to make the choice that you feel would lead to the most growth. For some of you, this indecision could result in you losing, losing one of your choices. And here, in this picture, the person is blinded, but they're balancing scales. And this one, they're choosing between two paths. You standing here in the middle and being in like refusing to take a path can result in the loss of something. For some of you, it's it could be a relationship. Maybe you're choosing between two, two different people and one of the people decides to, to walk away and maybe the person who decides to walk away is the one you want the most. For some of you, it's a job offer, it's two different job offers. And then by the time, because you've taken so long, by the time you actually respond, the one that you actually want is taken away. So, not to rush you or anything, but staying in this, 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 this moment, in this area of confusion, is not beneficial for you. Um, like I said before, um, this might be legal. It might be like a legal issue for some of you. It may not turn out in the way that you expect it to, but it's a minor setback. I do feel like even though this might not turn out the way you expect it to because of some possible indecision or delay in making a choice, I do feel like even though this doesn't work out right now, something else may work out later. 
to make up for this. But if possible, I would definitely make the decision sooner rather than later. Okay, so for Cancer, we only have one card. So let's see what's here. Strategy. Okay, what are y'all planning? What are y'all planning? Did you retreat? <laughs> Did you retreat into your bubble after this Mercury retrograde and like decide that, oh, well, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to figure out what the hell I want to do with my life. If so, good for you. Because <laughs> there's a lot of other people out here that are not like Gemini's here, not making decisions. Not to shit on Gemini. I'm a Gemini moon, so, you know. But, y'all are planning. Okay, I, can, I see you. I see you. Hmm. That's good, though. Because right now, um, Jupiter is actually in retrograde. And you taking the time to plan now and figure out what you want, what you want to achieve, is only going to bode well for you. Especially during these next, I think, four months of it being in retrograde, of uh, Jupiter being in retrograde. And if you haven't start making, if you haven't started making a plan, now is the time to do it. These are for uh, the other, the, those of you that have been wondering what you need to do or like you have an idea of what you want to do, get more specific. Get more specific. Actually, go get a journal. Like I have this journal and I use it for planning out what I want to do, what I need, what, um, what I want to bring towards me, what I want to manifest. I use this journal. Get you a specific a journal like this. I got this one from uh, Family Dollar. But um, get you like a, a journal and write out what you want to manifest. Actually be detailed. Like I have this. I attract this. And be specific. Like if it's a person, like plan down to the color of their hair. To the length of their hair. To the sound of their voice. Like, be specific. This is a time to be specific because Jupiter is in retrograde and it is the time to receive. So why not plan out what you want to receive? It is the perfect time to do so. The perfect time. You got it. Cancers. All right. Ooh, ready for some fiery Leos. All right. What do we have here? Okay, Leo. Okay. Ah. Interesting. These are interesting. <laughs> interesting group of cards
So, Door to Spirit is telling you that you have new beginnings ahead of you. It is telling you that there is a divine presence in the way that you oh okay okay someone could be offering you something this person it doesn't have to be a woman but somebody with a uh, a more feminine energy um, there's somebody who wants to offer you this who wants to offer you a great opportunity who wants to bring in healing into your life who wants to bring in healing who wants to bring in understanding and a greater sense of intuition because this person this person thinks this person researches this person is in tune with who they are and they're very understanding and a very compassionate person they're very compassionate very caring and they want to bring this to you For some of you, it's the opposite. For some of you, your intuition is opening up. Your, your thoughts are opening up. And it's, you're opening yourself up to bring this person in who is compassionate, who is caring, who understands you, right? But there's deceit here. And I'm not really, I'm not getting that it's coming from the woman. I think it's you. Is there something you're lying about? Is there something you're not being, is there something you're not being honest about? Is there something you're not being honest with yourself about? Because you have this opportunity here to bring in somebody who ha possibly has either has had this opportunity or this opportunity brings this person and you have this here but this deceit is blocking you it is keeping you from it what are you lying about <laughs> leos what y'all doing <laughs> Hmm. Whatever you're doing, you better come clean about it. Because otherwise, these, uh, this, this woman, this feminine person, and this opportunity, they're at risk. And you don't want to get rid of this just because you want to hold on to some lies. Be honest with yourself and be honest with the people who are around you. Some of you are directly lying to this person. Some of you are directly telling this person what they want to hear. Why? <laughs> oh, okay. Some of you see something with this person. You want to be with this person. So you're deceiving them. You're trying to keep them in your grasp because you see this you see this future this bright future where you get intuitive you, you get healing you get you get um beautiful opportunities coming your way and you see this with this person this this um this person with like more of a fe feminine energy doesn't have to be doesn't have to be a woman it can also be a man it could be anybody but with the feminine energy you want this with this person you're lying and karma everybody knows karma's not going to give you what you want if you're over here lying it's just not going to work out that way <laughs> it's 
It's just not. So my advice here would be to come clean. And if and really think about the situation. If you don't think, if you don't know 100% that you're ready for this situation, take yourself out of the equation. Take yourself away. Heal yourself. Understand yourself. Speak to yourself. Think about yourself. Think about what you need to do to change what you need to change in order to be on the same level as this person and on the same level as this opportunity because right now you're not all right okay let's look at the Virgos Virgos, what do we have here? Three cards for the rest of April. Community. Okay, sort of personal healing and happiness. Okay, woman holding a coin. Okay. Uh, so community could be family, it could be a group of friends, it could be a group, just in general, a group of people, it could be co-workers. It's your environment. Okay, so what I'm getting is you want to step to, through this door to personal healing and happiness. And of course, through this door, you see there's a rainbow and it's this beautiful garden and little waterfall and a little, a little lily pond. Or I think that's what they're called. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. This is what you want. But this is what surrounds you. Are you receiving the support that you want? Are the people, the people who are around you, do they deserve to be around you? Or rather, do you share the same beliefs? Do you share the same goals? Do you sh share the same aspirations? And um, do you have the same mindset on like where you want to go, what you want to achieve in life? Because you're, you're, what you want is it. But are these people there to support you or are they there to hold you back? This card is saying that your finances are restricted. Somebody, it could be somebody in your group or around you, somebody is keeping you. This could, this could be a boss. This could be just regular one of your coworkers. It could be somebody you're in a relationship with.
it could even just be somebody you're thinking about. Like it could be somebody that you're holding on to and because your energy is going toward holding on to somebody, you're not, it's keeping you from getting money, like getting an improvement on your finances, improvement of your jobs. It's keeping you from your door to personal healing and happiness. And then the people around you, what are they telling you? Are they telling you things that support you? Or are they telling you things that keep you, that keep you in doubt, that keep you doubting yourself and keep you in a, in a sense of lack? Virgos, it's time for you to analyze who you keep around and who you're putting your intention toward. Because if these people around you are not supportive of what you have going on in your life, you don't need them around you. It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't. It truly does not. Because at the end of the day, what's for you is for you. At the end of the day, it's for you. But if you're allowing negative things, if you're allowing other people to dictate who you need to be and other people to keep you from achieving what you want, then you're not you're not gonna achieve you're not gonna achieve your personal healing and happiness. And that's like rather unfortunate. This can also be just a lack of value in yourself. A lack of belief in yourself. Maybe these people support that. A lack of um, belief in yourself. Maybe these people tell you that you're not enough, that you're not good enough, that you're not doing well enough. And so you believe it. Don't believe it. <laughs> Don't believe it. This could also be somebody who criticizes you, who devalues you as well. Um, don't believe it. This could be a very toxic situation. And because, because of this situation, you're unable to reach here unable to reach this you're, you're unable find your worth find your worth I know I know some of you Virgos have been going through a hard time but don't let what's around you determine what you achieve don't let who's around you determine what you achieve because at the end of the day end of the day these people don't matter <laughs> these people do these people don't matter what you want does so love yourselves <laughs> love yourself because if you don't who will <sighs> all right we have libra We have one card for Libra. Shout out to my Libra gang. What, what? <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Attachment in reverse. Y'all are letting go. Woo! What? Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Libras are known for holding on to unhealthy situations. Uh, Sorry, I just uh, thought about something. Libras, as well as Tauruses, I just want to point that out. That both Libras and Tauruses are known for holding on to situations. But, on um, situations that don't serve them. But, unlike Taurus, you Libras are letting the fuck go. Look at that. That is growth. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I'm so proud of y'all. Go ahead and pat yourselves on the back. 
go ahead and pat yourselves on the back. Y'all sitting here letting shit go. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Oh, this is beautiful. Because after that, once you once you start letting this go, once you start letting whatever situation was holding you back, once you start letting that go, you're just going to get better. Like, you're just going to improve. Because once this situation, this toxic situation that you're walking away from is like gone and you're moved on from it, like Libras are scales, right? So they, they need balance. So if this situation was having you off kilter, off balance, letting go of it, bam, there you are. There you, there you are. You're back, you're back to where you need to be. You bet you're back to where you are naturally. And that is beautiful. That is beautiful. So while you um, continue to let go, make sure you don't slip back. Because even though, even though right now you could be letting go like a month or really just a week or two or, you know, whatever down the line, like you think about whatever you thought that you think about whatever um, you left and you start looking at it through rose colored uh, glasses, you start thinking, oh man, maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. No, 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 no. Don't start doing that shit. Because once you start doing that, then you start slipping and then you start going back and then you start regressing and we don't want that. We don't want, we, we don't want attachment upright. We want to keep attachment <laughs> in reverse. So to keep it in reverse and keep it moving on. Keep trucking. Keep trucking. And whenever you leave a bad situation, whenever you leave a bad situation for good, that's when you get all the riches in the world. Well, maybe not all the riches, obviously, but you know, like that's when, that's when the good shit starts happening. I don't know if I'm allowed to curse a lot, so I'm gonna just try to keep that on a minimum. But <laughs> yes. Good job, Libras. Good job. Keep on walking. Keep on walking. Don't look back. Y'all too cute. Y'all too cute to look back. Y'all too cute. Alrighty. What's up for my Scorpios? What's up for my Scorpios? I just want to say um, I'm part Scorpio as well because I have like three planets in Scorpio, so I have a lot of Scorpio energy. Way too many to be quite honest. Well, way too much to be quite honest. But um, yeah, so let's see. Two cards. Ooh. Damn. Uh, who broke your heart, Scorpio? Who broke your heart? Damn. Y'all are sad. <laughs> Y'all are sad. Something you're lo really looking forward to. Something you're looking forward to or something that you, uh, you tried really hard to obtain, to maintain, to uh, pursue. It didn't work out didn't work out and now y'all are sad <laughs> it's heavy it's really heavy because y'all don't even appreciate life anymore y'all aren't happy necessarily not well I'm not gonna say you're not happy at all but you don't have as much appreciation for life as you did before for life and um it's circumstances as you did before. So, it's time to heal. It's time to heal this little heart of yours. And start, and it's time to start, stop looking at what you don't have and start looking towards more of what, what you do have. Because I can guarantee you have more than what you don't. 
you know and once you start doing that once you start looking into what you do have and what you uh what you're happy to have you start healing and whatever you, whatever broke your heart it isn't worth being sad over It's not worth being sad over. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you got this. I believe in y'all. Whenever y'all, um, whenever y'all reach rock bottom, y'all always come up. Always. Every single time. Without fail. That's why y'all are phoenixes. Like, Come on now. Who else? Who else? Your fave could never, could never reach the bottom and then come all the way up. I mean, just go back down, but it doesn't matter. That, that part doesn't matter anymore. Scorpio is extreme. So even though y'all are going through this right now, even though y'all are going through this heartbreak in this period of um, not feeling grateful for what you have already, even though you're going through this, it'll be okay. Just keep pushing through it. Keep trying to like have a better mindset about the situation, and you'll get what you want. You'll get what you want. For all Scorpios, you have to reach bottom before you get back up. Don't worry. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. All right, Sagittarius. Shadows, Sagittarius. <laughs> I'm so annoying. All right, y'all have um, two cards. Ooh. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> um, y'all are hurt. Damn, what, what's going on? Y'all are hurt. Y'all are hurting, hurting. Um... Healer of the Ages in Reverse is saying that um, you have a wound. You have a wound. And this wound is blocking your intuition and it's blocking um, your sense of who you are. It's blocking your third eye as well. It's blocking your creativity, your powers of manifestation. What are y'all hurt over? <laughs> Damn, this, y'all, oh, well. If this isn't any indication, um, this, this, this person in your life, it could also be you. It's either, it's you or it's somebody in your life who doesn't value who you are. This person could be toxic. Um, it could be very a, to a toxic situation. It could be somebody is um, talking shit about you. They're uh, bullying you. They're manipulating your emotions, your feelings. They are turning the situation. Whatever, if y'all like, if y'all had an argument, if you were in a relationship or something, you had an argument. Whatever the argument is, they're playing themselves as a victim. And that is hurting you. Oh, damn. So, my question is who is this in your energy? that doesn't appreciate you and is it worth having somebody in your area in your space in your aura in your in your energy is it worth having somebody in your energy that doesn't respect who you are is it really worth it to you guys or girls or whoever is it really worth it to you
you may also be feeling tired. You may be feeling uh, drained for um, your drain because whatever energy you're putting in this situation with this person or yourself is being depleted. Are you addicted to something? Are you addicted to something? Are you addicted to this person? Are you addicted to the way they treat you? Are you addicted to the manipulative words they have for you? Because if so, it's time to break it. It's time to move on from it. Because you don't, you don't deserve that. You don't deserve that, Sag. You don't. You deserve to be happy just like anybody else is. So why are you accepting this from somebody? Why are you accepting this from yourself, potentially? For y'all, I think you need to take a time, take time to uh, meditate on your heart chakra. And when you meditate, just imagine like green light pouring into you and filling up your heart. A bright, glowing green light. And you take the time to meditate. And then as you meditate, figure out if, it, if this issue is you or if it's somebody else. If it's you, what steps do you need to take to stop being so cruel to yourself? This doesn't have to be somebody you're in a relationship with. It could also be a friendship. It can be a parent or guardian. It could be somebody who's close to you, like a like a like a coworker. It could be a boss. It could be a boss as well. Who doesn't value you? Who doesn't who doesn't value your efforts? Somebody could also be jealous of you. Jealous that you have the, you have, you have the power to heal people, to be a light in people's lives, but right now you can't be. And that's because this person, for some of you, this person is attacking that. They see that you have the power to be very good. And they see that and they draw that energy out of you. Meditate. And figure out how to let this person go. Because until you let this toxicity, this energy, this toxic energy out of your life, you're not going to be, you're not going to heal. It's just going to create more wounds for you. And it's just going to be harder for you to move on. So, I wish y'all the best. I wish y'all the best. All right. I have my caps which if i'm being really frank like i honestly think capricorns are probably are like the best sign like capricorns are cool as shit <laughs> and it's probably because i have so much like scorpio energy but um but to be honest i've never actually seen any posts really shitting on capricorns so maybe this is like a general thing but in any case, um, Capricorns. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Capricorns. Y'all have found balance. Y'all have found an inner peace. An inner peace and an inner sense of self that can't be touched.
you have an ethereal aura about you right now. Y'all are in y'all power. Because right now, y'all have abundance. Y'all got shit coming to y'all. If it hasn't already, it's going to be. And it's beautiful. See, Capricorn's out here doing the work. Cutting off who they need to cut off. <laughs> They're, uh, they're, they're figuring out their sense of self. They're getting, gaining their balance. And they're getting opportunities. This could be in love. This can be financial. This could be career-wise. Like, y'all are getting it. Good job, Capricorn. Look at this. Good job. I love it. I love it. I know that was a short one, but like, shit, that shit is positive. <laughs> um, all right. So I also have Aquarius. Right? Yeah. Aquarius. Aquarius. Ooh, goddess of the moon. Goddess of the moon. In action. In reverse. Let's see how. Let's see how. Mm, so, if y'all are still like sitting here listening to me, I greatly appreciate that. I just, I know I'm a dork, but in any case, all right. Um, so the goddess of the moon is basically saying that your intuition is open. Your um. You are receiving messages, or you're about to see me receive messages from the universe um, telling you your path that you need to take. It's telling you what you need to accomplish, what your purpose is. However, you know this, but you're not doing anything about it. You know this is where you need to do, you know this is where you need to go, but you're not taking the action. Why? What is keeping you? What is keeping you stagnant? What is keeping you from moving? What is keeping you from moving into who you were supposed to be? <laughs> what are y'all doing? You have it right here. You literally, you know. You guys know what it is. You know without a doubt what it is that you need to be doing. Why? Why, why, why? Come on, y'all. Don't you want to be Capricorn? Don't you want, don't you want what Capricorn has? Not to like create like envy or nothing, but like, don't you want this? Yes? Then what you doing? What you doing? I don't understand. <laughs> you have all this information, all of these, uh, you're basically getting a blueprint of the things you need to do. You're getting, you're getting probably like time, places, you're getting um, who, what, when, how, you're getting all of that. You're getting all of that, but you're not doing anything about it. You're not reaching out to grab what it is that's for you. Are you afraid? Are you afraid of being successful? Are you afraid of changing a path? Maybe you're going down a different path and realize that you need to be going in the opposite direction. 